Hey guys, super quick video today. So from my light mode, dark mode, reusable theme switch video from yesterday, um, the question was asked, how can we switch our logo for light and dark mode? Like this example here, I've got my WPEC white logo on the dark background. Flick the switch, I've got my dark logo on the light background. So it's very, very easy because it's exactly the same process as everything else. First thing we need to do is Look at the um, CSS, uh, my global CSS. Again, refer to my previous video. Uh, and in here, all I've done, so we had all this uh, CSS styling in the previous video. All I've done, so we can zoom in here a little bit, get a little bit easier to read. It looks like as far as I can go with that. Okay, so all I've done here is added a couple of CSS rules. So looking at my body, and I've got an is front end because we do not want these to hide in the editor. We want to be able to see them. So we only want this rule to apply when we're in the front end. And Bricks adds a body class. Bricks is front end when you are in the front end. What we're saying is if we are in the front end and the body has the attribute uh, data theme dark, then we're going to apply the hide on dark rule to display none. And the opposite here, so we're looking at is the front end and it does not have the, and the body, sorry, it does not have the attribute theme dark. Then we're going to apply the hide on light rule. So we're just pressing display none to whatever we want to hide um, in that mode. And if we have a look at our header. Now, this is one thing I couldn't do with Bricks. It actually tripped me up. I Originally, I had a logo. So using the logo element here in the header. And with that logo, I'd set my image. What I didn't realize is that when you set this image here, you're actually setting your global logo. Uh, so if I duplicated that, I'm just going to duplicate that now. And I go into there and I go, actually, I want that to be this logo here. It actually updates both because we're actually updating our global logo. So we can't use the logo element back to what it was so we don't forget what is it with the bricks editor these days sometimes i click on things look at this nothing's happening but if i click on the structure panel then i get my logo okay i'm just gonna go back to what it was weird little bugs i mean i love bricks but there are some little nasty little bugs in there which do get annoying at times is that my logo and then that's my image oh now i'm getting the wrong things Okay, now I've set these in both to be the same. So this one here, the, the one on the left, all I've done is add my hide on dark class to it because I want this to be hidden on dark. I want this one here to be my hide on light. And I want that to be my light version. Okay. And it's updated. Is this a logo? It's an image. It doesn't update in the editor. Let's just hit 5 key, make sure that's updated. I think with 1.7, Bricks 1.7, a lot of the optimizations that they've done to speed up the rendering, uh, sometimes when you make changes, they just don't happen in the editor. Um, and then eventually they do. Uh, hitting the F5 resolves the issue anyway. The love Bricks. Got some little quirky bugs, but certainly by far my favorite page builder. So I'm not going to complain too much about that. All right, so now we've got two logos. One we've got a hide on dark, one we've got a hide on light. And in our CSS, in our CSS, global CSS, we've added these two rules here. We'll tuck these in the description as well. Um, and that's all we need. So now if I go to my test theme switch, do a scroll F5, make sure we're up to date. So I've got a black logo on my light background. I've got a white logo on my dark background. Simple as that. All right. So I hope that adds value to you guys. If you do, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thanks, mate.